I think the number, I don't know if it's a number one key, but it's an essential key element to uh, become successful. And this video is not to toot my own horn, but the proof is in the pudding. You got to put your money where your mouth is. And um, this video is for people that want a little bit of direction and want to um, try to understand what is it, what is it, what is that one key element that will allow you to become successful, not just with health and fitness. This is a health and fitness channel, but in all uh, aspects of your life. And that is a drum roll. It is establishing a routine. Routine is very, very vital if you want to reach your health and fitness goals or any goals in general, financial goals, life goals, um, job, um, just the whole nine yards. Um, ever since I was a kid, you know, I've always had routine. Um, you know, I did martial arts as a young kid and got some routine, I wrestled, had a lot of routine. I'd go to practice, do this do my homework, take a shower, and yes, it does get monotonous, but you need to establish a routine. Without having a routine, it's just you're setting yourself up for failure. I mean, even people like you've seen, I'm sure you've seen the show, My 600 Pound Life on TLC. I'm not sure if it airs anymore, but if you haven't checked it out, I mean, it's a pretty popular show. A lot of these people now, there are a lot of other reasons why they become that big, but one aspect that perpetuates their morbid obesity is a lack of routine, meaning a lot of them are unemployed, they're living off the government, they don't have a job, and by not having a job, it just, you don't, you don't have any purpose, you don't have a, any type of routine, you're just, a, you're just a chicken with your head cut off. So establish some routine. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't deviate a little bit because, you know, we all have to live, uh, all, or we want to, live a, a fun life so going on vacation you know i'm not saying that you have to you know not you don't have to deprive yourself of like going on vacation or you know you have some friends over this and that you can deviate a little bit but you need to have that foundation the foundation to um sustain and once you have that foundation then if you do deviate a little bit you can always get back right get right back on track excuse me so establish a routine, you know, if it's health and fitness, you know, I assume you're into some type of health and fitness in one form of another, form or another if you stumble upon this video and or you're subscribed to this channel, you need to establish a routine. So, hey, what are you going to do? You, you work a full-time job. Do you want to work out before work uh, or do you want to work out after work? Or maybe you have a flexible job and you, you could squeeze in a workout during lunch. That's 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 a, a routine that you need, and you need to allocate your time appropriately because there's you know only twenty four hours in the day, and then minus six to eight hours depending on your sleep. It's only going to leave you about sixteen hours, uh, maybe even less depending on how much sleep. Like I said, and when you do that, that the days just go by much quicker, and I'm sure you guys and gals under uh, can understand that. Or realize that right the older you get doesn't it feel like time's going even faster and that just shows you the time the clock is ticking and you know you don't want to be waking up at 50 55 years old and then thinking back and saying well, what in the heck did i just do these past x amount of years so it, it's it's just very it's just much easier and it's more tempting and you're just more prone to uh falling off the wagon and not reaching your goals when you don't have a routine because if Saturday, if, if you got person A on Saturdays, they always work out at seven o'clock in the morning and they've been doing that for years, that's a routine. But you get, I see some guys at the gym, you know, and for whatever reason, I'm not trying to judge them, you know, what, it, what maybe it's personal reasons, but um, a lot of times you see people, they come to the gym, they come to the gym and then you don't see them for a while and then they come and they don't the routine for whatever reason it's just it's just not there and then you see the see the results or a, or a lack thereof and they look exactly the same now they are at the gym and they're doing something so that's good but 
when you hear them complaining about not getting results or you hear you hear about someone bitching and complaining and say, oh, I need, I need to lose weight, I need to lose weight. These people, they don't have any routine. Let's just be honest. And if you're one of these people, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I'm just telling you straight from the horse's mouth. I'm not going to BS. I'm not going to bullshit, bullshit to you. Um, don't lie to yourself. But the good news is that it's never too late. So take baby steps and establish a routine. Your workout routine, not only that, but your eating routine too. Um, I don't know if you're going to do like intermittent fasting, whatever you want to do, or you're on keto, vegan, whatever. But don't just be eating whenever you feel like it because you do that anytime. I mean, there are times there is instinctual eating when you are more uh, experienced, such as myself, that you can not really think about having a routine and you can kind of go by how your body feels. But that's going to take time. That's going to take experience, years of experience and trust in your own body and knowing and understanding your body. But if you don't have any routine and you're new to all this, you need you need a routine. You can't go on instincts. Cause what instincts is gonna instincts? Excuse me, is gonna lead you to going to the happy hour and pounding like four beers, and then not going to the gym on Saturday because why would you? You don't even have a routine. You haven't gone to a workout in like three months on Saturdays. So enough with that. You get you get my picture, or you get the picture. Hopefully, I'm gonna, I'm driving this point home to nauseum, so I'm gonna end it at six minutes plus. So uh, whatever it is, uh, in all aspects of your life, if you establish a routine, um, whether you're studying for an exam, you, you, know, you put in the hours to review your notes for your exam, um, you have a, a study partner every Saturday, or a, in terms of health and fitness, a workout partner that you meet up, establish that routine, and you'll notice that it'll be like clockwork and uh, you'll be one step closer to reaching your goals. Comments, questions, always welcome. Subscribe for more content. Two to, I get, uh, I get, I put out at least two to three new videos per week. Uh, share, like, subscribe, blah, 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 if you can. It helps uh, keep me motivated to keep making more videos for you guys and gals. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Adios.